I'll take a look at this mutt. I'd love to collar this guy. Hey. How about this one? Milltown listing, large, elegant Victorian wraparound porch. Oh, looks haunted. Yes, exactly, Jack. That's the point. A Halloween wedding. You and me, a hundred of our closest friends, all in costumes, candles lit everywhere. Hurricane Carly and Detective Jack finally wed. Hey, you want a Halloween wedding, you got one. Can I kiss you while you're on duty? Well, since we're officially engaged, it'd be a crime not to. Hey, Lily, what's going on? I just got a phone call from Worldwide. The situation in Havana is totally out of control. I tried to call down there. I can't get through. And they say this hurricane is going to destroy the whole entire island. I just saw it on the news. Rose? She's still Rose there? Rose is there. My mother and Joe and Simon and Paul Ryan and... Sit down, please. You're, you're Coast Guard be our, be our best bet. I'll call and see what they get. Hey. Can I get you some water or something? I, I hate to see you this upset. How can I not be? Half of my family could be wiped out, and there's nothing that I could do about it. Yeah, I've got the Coast Guard on the line. They're tracking the boat that left Avania Harbor just as the storm hit. Boat made it into U.S. waters, but they haven't been able to reach them. Could Rose and the others be on it? It's a possibility. There's no way to know for sure. I also called Holden. He should be on his way okay. down. Yeah, 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 I'm here. Hey, listen, Lily. If that boat was the only way anybody had of getting off that island, then Rose is on it. And I'm sure she dragged your mother and everybody else with her. Just have a little faith, okay? Are you okay? Yeah, Jack just found out a boat left to Vanya, and Rose and the others could be on it. Let me know as soon as you contact them. Thank you. I think it's time we start praying. For Margot, too. Karen just told me that they took her back to the hospital. You haven't heard anything? No, no. You know what? I'm going to head over there. If the Coast Guard calls, the switchboard will patch it through to this phone. All right, I'll stay here, Jack, and, and wait until we hear something. Hi. You've looked better. I'm all right. Can you help me with something? What'd you do? Something kind of messed up. Well, hey, I'm the queen of messed up. What do you need to know? Truthfully, I had to keep Lily from finding out about it. Hey, I haven't heard much. What's the story? You know what? I'm, I'm going to let Katie fill you in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop in looking on Margo. What? How is she? Did they find a donor? Uh, hey, have you heard anything from Simon? Coast Guard's tracking your boat to left of Anya. Simon and the others may be on it, which would be good news if there wasn't a hurricane bearing down on them. <sighs> Oh, I wish I could have told him about Margot. There just wasn't time. Are you getting a chance to explain why you were leaving? No, Lucinda and Rose had to tell him after I left. I didn't even get to kiss my husband goodbye. Now I don't know how he's going to get home or what he's going to find if he does. Well, you didn't answer my question. What? Oh, the liver donor. It's me. Come again? I'm going to donate part of my liver to Margot. Just, no, no one seems too uh, eager about it. Hello? Where are you? Excuse me? Tell me. Craig? I I'm at the police station. What's up? Did you call my ex-wife and tell her to come to Oakdale? You know, I I'm a little busy right now. You'll have Carly? to get back to me, OK? Ca Aaron, Lily's exhausted. I need to take her home. Well, tell her that I'll call her as soon as we hear anything. OK. You coming? No. I'm going to wait for news about Aunt Rose. And I'll take Lily's car home. Good enough. Hey, listen, Aaron. Whatever's going on, don't make the mistake of lying about it. Just explain it to your dad. He's got your back. Yeah, but I think he's tired of defending me all the time. No, I doubt that. Just be honest. Your dad would tell you the same thing. He, he's totally Mr. I can't tell a lie. Yeah, and that's a rare thing. All of you Snyder boys are stand-up guys. You don't want to be the one flaw in the bloodline, do you? No. Trust that your family will believe in you. That includes Lily. Carly, Carly, Carly.
picking up another rendezvous for my daughter? Are you just getting lessons in teenage elopement and the premature siring of children? You should go, Aaron. There's going to be bloodshed. No, Aaron, don't go on my account. This could be your home someday. Thanks, Carly. When, Craig? When will you stop acting like an idiot? Just be grateful we're in a place where I'm less likely to murder you. Well, what's the problem? My ex-wife, the mother of my remaining child, showed up on my door tonight. You don't seem surprised. She has this idea that somehow I have mishandled the situation between Lucy and little Mr. Easy Rider. Apparently, she got this idea from you. So what I want to know is, where do you get off putting that well-powdered nose up my personal business? I didn't want your daughter to be another victim. So, yeah, I called Sierra. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I did. And now you put me in a situation where I may lose my daughter. If anybody made that bed, Craig, it's you. In all of our dealings in this, uh, Whatever we have, I have never once tried to put a wedge between you and Parker. I was the guy who came to the rescue when Rosanna tried to hijack him. I almost went to jail because I respected you as a mother. And yet, you were not giving me that same respect. And this hurts me, Carly. In fact, this hurts me so deep, I don't think I can bear to look at you again. <laughs>